Good morning, beautiful people. This is your friend of Mundo, Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. World's greatest living artist. Yeah. Those are my sound effects. Gonna go to uh, FedEx. Drop some stuff off. Gonna go to the post post office. Drop some other stuff off. Man. Early bird, baby. Early bird gets the worm. Oh, first I'm gonna go get a burrito. A breakfast burrito. I'm gonna get myself a breakfast burrito. Because I can. Because I should. Makes things better. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Uh, I did a little video earlier this morning. And I, I just wanted to share with you guys this. Look, guys. Movement. Movement. Movement, keep that machine moving every time I get spanked right in the behind by, uh, by, by, uh, every time I get spanked by ass. <laughs> no, every time I get spanked in my ass by life, I guess the, well, people get spanked. Wee, cry, cry. Every time I get punished by life, in other words, uh, it's because I'm moving very slow. I'm moving very slow. I'm taking my sweet time. And, uh, and I don't know. I don't know. I, I wish I knew. I wish I knew what it was. Yeah, I need some. Oh. There we go. I need some tissue. Bear with me, guys. I just try to make my nose clean for you guys. Because it's all up in the nose. Good morning. Good morning, Jeanette. Every time... That I'm like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. What should I do? And on and on and on and on. It's got to do with the fact that I'm moving too slow. It's got to do with the fact that I'm I'm waiting on something. I'm sitting there. I'm procrastinating. In other words, I just I don't like to, to think I'm procrastinating. I like to think that I'm that I'm so busy and that I create so much movement and that I'm so uh, such a hardworking person and on and on and on but the reality is that I'm procrastinating I'm procrastinating nobody knows it but me nobody knows you but yourself you know when you're procrastinating and usually procrastination shows up shows up not usually all the time you feel like you're already working a lot. You're like, oh my God, but I'm already working so much. Why? Why do I feel like I, I don't have certainty? Why does it feel this way? And on and on and on. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. It, you. You may feel like you're working out already, but you're probably not. And I know it's a tricky thing because a lot of people get, get, get offended by this message. Because most people think that they're already doing everything they should be doing. The reality is that it takes much more effort than what we estimated than what we thought. The reality is that if you needed to if you needed to make a painting, you probably needed to make 10 of them. The reality is that if you you probably needed to contact 100 people rather than 10 people on Facebook, reach reach 100 people every day. I don't know, maybe it's 1000. I don't know, maybe personally it's 100 people that you reach. Maybe maybe uh the reality is that it's so many things. How do you get them all done? You, you get them done by, by not thinking about them. See, when you start thinking about what you're going to do, you paralyze. It's, it's, it's unconceivable to the mind. It's unconceivable to the mind. The mind can't grasp it. The mind can't, you know, the mind can't take it. The mind gets overwhelmed and can't take it. The mind doesn't know how to take care of it. Most of us use our minds to try to fix futures. 
future things. But the mind is not for that. The mind is not for that. Most of us use our minds to try to fix, like, okay, I'm going to stack everything up. And then once I, we all want to play domino. You know when, when people do, like, the domino effect? We all want to do that. We all want to be like, okay, I'm going to stack, I'm going to put all my chips, I'm going to stack them together. And then I'm going to hit that one, and that one's going to hit the other one. And that one's going to hit the other one. The reality is that life is not like that, guys. Life is not, it's not, you don't organize life. Too many people spend too much time organizing. You don't organize life. You do life. You live life. The moment that you sit there and start organizing, you're like, oh my God, I got all these things to do. And you bring out your little list and you're like, I got all these things to do. I know because this, this is the kind of shit that happens to me. Like, oh, I got all this stuff to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to organize because if I organize, then I can get it done. Nope. The only way to do it is to do it. Famous uh, a woman pilot, Emilia. Emilia, I, I keep forgetting her. I gotta pronounce her her last name. Is it Earnhardt? Is, I don't know. Something like that. She said the, the 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 way to do things, or the best way to do it, is just to do it. Because there is no best way. There is no. I'm gonna organize first. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna. So, anyways, the reason for that. The reason for that. Okay. This is not a popular subject. This is this this subject is not for everybody. I know that. The shit that I talk about is not for everybody. I already know that. I risk it when I talk about this stuff. Because I'm not talking about like be happy, take your paintbrushes out, and you know, I, I don't always talk like that. And I know that I lose people when I talk about this stuff. The other day someone told me, dude, you shouldn't be telling people that. I believe in it. I should be telling people what I believe in. These are things that I believe in. These are things that, that I've experienced. This is not some, some shit I read in a book and I'm, I'm just sharing with you guys. You guys can do that. You guys can go read in a book something and then be like, oh yeah, well, I, I read that book too. Yeah, <laughs> I, I read that book. I, I, I know what that what, what you're talking about, Jose. No, the, the, the shit, that I'm, shit that I'm sharing here with you guys is experiential. It's stuff that you have to go through. It's not, you You can't read this stuff anywhere. Oh, man. Here we go. You can't read this stuff anywhere. You can't be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go read that. Nope. It doesn't happen like that. You know? You just, you simply cannot read this stuff anywhere. You simply cannot learn this stuff anywhere. This stuff, the way you learn this stuff is by taking action. It's the only way you can learn this stuff. It's impossible to learn this stuff uh, without taking action. Like, li listen to what I just said. It's impossible to learn this stuff without taking action. The holy grail of anything that you want in life, this is this is what I've come to understand, is the amount of activities, productivity that you generate. Good morning. I'm going to get a burrito. I'm going to get a breakfast burrito. That's my productivity right now. Wait, guys. Because an artist's got to eat, too. You know, an artist's got to eat. I need a breakfast burrito. I'm like, good morning. Good morning. I already got my Starbucks. The one art prophet. Good morning. Good morning, art of Krista. Look, guys. The 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 thing that I found, the one thing, the one thing that I found is you gotta be busy. 
But you gotta get busy in levels that you've never been busy before. This is why I say it's not for everybody. Because most people don't want to get busy at those levels. Most people just most people are looking for clever things. Most artists are like, well, well, what's the clever way of using Facebook? You know? How do you get Facebook followers? If you go to if you go to if you go to YouTube or you go to anywhere, everybody's always posting the clever way. The clever way. What's the clever way? Like, like how can I work smart, not hard? And that doesn't even exist. It's a lie. Most people they're lying to you guys. You know? They're like, well look, this is what you do. Like, 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 what's this cat's name? The four hour work week guy, Tim Tim Ferris? Tim Tim is local. Tim doesn't know it, but he's local. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. There's no such thing okay, as a four hour work week. Let me get a burrito. Hold on. Yeah, can I please have a uh, a breakfast burrito with uh, with uh, bacon? Anything? That would be all. Thank you. Thank you. Breakfast burrito. Tim is like. Tim's like, dude, you're gonna work four hours a week. There's no such thing as that. It doesn't even exist. He's local. He's lost it. I don't know why he even came up with that. I know why he came up with that. It's sexy. It's attractive. You know? You tell someone that they're only going to work four hours a week. And everybody's like, oh my God, what? If I told you guys. If I told you guys. Okay? If I told you guys. Look. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you this information of how to get Facebook followers. Right? Or Instagram followers. And you don't have to do anything. All you got to do is... Press this button, press this other button, and do this, and then just sit back and relax. It's a lie. It doesn't exist. And if it does, if it does, if someone else is doing it for you, right? Chances are it's going to cost a lot of a lot of money. And even if someone does it for you and it costs a lot of money, I mean, this, this is the kind of stuff that I think it's hilarious. I've used services... And they don't work. They're like, oh my God, we're working so hard on your social media. They don't work a quarter of what I work. And and, 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 and they, they charge a pretty penny. And I'm always I'm always I'm always like scratching my head and like you know when I use when I use services, I'm like, what are these guys doing? What are they working on? That they that they say they're working on so hard. I remember paying someone to to to, to uh to transfer my I don't know if that's the right word. My videos into articles. I actually paid a few people to do that. And it's it's so interesting. It's so interesting because they would take about I don't know, pe- people are so perfectionist. They would take <laughs> especially if you go to like Fiverr, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, not Fiverr. Was it Fiverr? Yeah, I think it's Fiverr. I took someone from Fiverr to it. I used someone from Fiverr there. Uh and not the cheaper ones, right? It's it's just interesting. People are so perfectionist. Like, I remember paying this person. Uh, was it? I think it was like thirty bucks an article, right? Now, hold on, okay. This this person, if they did it right, I was gonna give them all of my articles, like all of my videos, to to translate and put into an article just a few sentences I need articles for LinkedIn oh one with extra extra chili I know I'm gonna get some chili right now <laughs> that's the one I want <laughs> that's the one I want <laughs> yeah I pay this person to write articles and they would take like like three, four hours to write an article, a single article. And I'm like, and I explained, right? I'm, I'm always explaining, dude, like, just ease up. Like, the only reason I got you to write articles is because I know you're a good writer. And if you're a good writer, my thoughts are that you're a fast writer, right? Because anything you're good at, you're fast. If you're really good at something, you're fast. 
There's no such thing as you're good at it and you take your sweet time. You're good at it, you're fast. You're good at running, you're probably a very fast runner, runner, right? If you're good at anything. Uh, but the, the perfectionism, man, the amount of perfectionism, it's like, dude, what? Like, how does it take you, how does it take you four, five hours, a whole day writing an article, but I'm only going to pay you like, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks. Like, I don't get it. It should, it should take you like 10 minutes at most. Be like, oh, okay, this is. Okay, this is what this is about. Got it. Pop, 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 pop. Two, three sentences. Two, three sentences. I don't know. Two paragraphs. Boom. There's your article. Right? And it's like, oh, man. So, anyways. I got tired of doing that, right? Okay. Six. ¿Le encargo a Salsita Roja? Okay. Sí. Le puso una verde de roja y ahí le mandó un marco. Ah, man. Mira. Gracias. Gracias, burrito, baby. Yeah. I'm only gonna be eat half of it because I'm going to. <laughs> I'm gonna eat better. <laughs> so, you know what I'm talking about? I got tired of it. I was like, man, these people are just taking too long. They take too long. They take too long. Mucho, mucho long, mucho time. Muchas gracias, señorita. Hasta luego. Right. So that's what I'm talking about, guys. You know, it's like, man, it takes too long, man. People take way too long. It's always like, man, like. So anyways, I would pay these people, right? Like, dude, 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 write this articles. This is not, this is not, this is not to, 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 to talk negatively about the people because people, have, people work very hard. They just, they're misinformed. Most people are misinformed. Most people are misinformed. That's the problem. Most people think that in order to do something good, you got to sit with it for hours. And that is not true. This is why a lot of people can't conceive me painting so much artwork so fast. Because they think that they have to sit there for hours. And that is not the case. When you're good at something, you learn how to do it fast. When you're good at something, you, you learn regardless of, you know, you learn how to do it fast. You learn how to do it effectively. You, do, you, you learn because, because it's, in the, it's, in the, it's in the doing, right? So anyways, I was paying, I was paying to write these articles. I'm like, here, here's 10 articles, right? Do this 10 articles. I'm going to pay you uh, 25 bucks an article, you know, just uh, get it done, right? I need these articles for, for, for LinkedIn and for this and for that. The person, three people, three different people were actually taking between four hours, four hours and a whole day. Just to get me one article. I was like, no, dude, this, this is why the whole starving artist thing exists. It should have taken you three hours to write all ten articles. Then I sit there and I do the same work, right? And it takes me, I don't know, it takes me like ten minutes to write an article. Fifteen tops. Bad grammar, bad punctuation. I'm like, ta, 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 ta. But I explain this to people, right? I tell them, look. Grammar, blah, blah, blah. This is not what I care about right now. We need to get the article up. Once we get the article up, right, then we can go through that. Then that's another job. We can go through that. We can go through the, you know, I don't care about that right now. I don't care about bad grammar and all that. I don't care about it. I care about the message first. Let's put it up. I care about the content, number one. Number two, I care about the message. And then the, at the least of my problems is grammar and sentence all this bullshit that I don't care about. But the stuff that gets me criticism all the time. I don't care about that. Right? We can fix that later. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, look, if there is not enough movement. See, this is, this is why you could be a person that knows how to write really well. And just sit with something. 
The reason why is because because you're a perfectionist. And when you're a perfectionist, you can't move fast. And if you don't move fast, you, you will never be productive. Period. You cannot be productive if you don't move fast. You cannot be you cannot be prolific if you don't move fast. Much less prolific. You know, prolific there's a small group of people that are prolific. And it's because it's due to high levels of productivity. And high levels of productivity happen because there is no perfectionism. It doesn't mean they don't care about what they're doing. At the contrary, it means they care so much. So much. They care so much that they do it a lot. They do it often and they do it a lot. And they don't care about missing, missing bits, bits, and, bits and pieces of it. They're, they don't care about that. This is why when people see some of my artwork, they're like, well, you know, you left some stuff out here and painted. I'm like, no, it's, hey, it's part of it. Don't even worry about it. It's part of the painting. You didn't paint the sides. Some people tell me that on my canvas says, hey, it's part of the painting. That's how it is. You ever been to a museum? You ever been to a, to a, to a high-end gallery where, where you see, a, where you see a high price artwork? By, by very serious working artists. That's how they work. They're not perfectionists because perfectionism slows down the productivity. And it, and it makes you, it, it, most people want to have everything done, everything everything perfect. They're like, I got to paint the sides. Oh my God, the lines aren't well done. You know, like how people paint the sides of the canvases and on and on and on and all that bullshit. You know, if you can do it fast, do it. But if you can't do it fast, and that's the thing that's holding you back. There's something wrong with that deal. I don't like that deal, actually. Because what it does is that it slows you down. And it, and it, and it causes you... It causes you to doubt yourself. It causes you to doubt yourself. When I'm going to make a painting, man... I already know what I'm going to paint in my mind. And even if I don't know... Especially if I don't know, I'm still painting it. I don't go do research. I <laughs> have Pre preach that jazz. Yeah, I got my burrito now. Mm, look at this burrito, burrito. Yeah, this burrito. I know, summer buddy. <laughs> I do have to watch my figure. <laughs> That's why I'm only eating half of it. I'm being conservative with my with my burrito eating eating skills. But yeah, guys, I mean that's the whole thing. You know, you, you gotta you gotta do different stuff. You can't you can't get stuck on one thing. I know so many so many people are so talented, and they're like, oh my god, they start sweating bullets when you when you make you know you put them to do a task. I do I do uh, uh, coaching sessions with artists, right? And I'm like, okay, this is this is what what you gotta do. Uh, when we come back to the coaching session, because because the part of coaching is is really holding people accountable. When we come back to the coaching, uh, the next week or whatever, uh, the next call, I'm like, okay, so so what you get? What did you get done of our of our of our of our list? Right, the list you're, you're supposed to hit. And man, many times people people are like, well, you know, I I wanted to do this, but but this happened and that happened and. And all I really see, I know a lot of people think they're lazy. I'll be honest with you guys. It's not laziness. It's not lazy. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's not laziness, guys. It's perfectionism. You, 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 you guys, are, you guys are, are taught to do things right and to do it, to do it right the first time. Do it right the first time. You got to do it right. It's 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 not laziness. I know a lot of people think they're lazy. They're like, oh my god, I'm so lazy. That's not your problem. I I don't show up to the art studio. That's not your problem. The, the problem is not that. The problem is perfectionism. It's a mental thing. It's a it's a it's a. I don't know why it was put in there. I don't know why it's there. It's fear, really. It's what it is. It's fear, but it shows up as perfectionism. Like oh. If I write this sentence wrong, how, what are people going to say about me? 
like like these videos. I know so many artists that are so talented, they should be doing these videos, and they're not doing them. And they're like, well, I don't want to sound stupid. I want to have everything everything lined up, you know. Uh, I'm going to wait till I lose 20 pounds so I can do some videos. <laughs> I'm going to wait till, uh, till uh, I don't know, till I get uh, the right haircut. Oh, I'm going to go do my hair before I do the video. And on and on and on. And it's like, dude, no. You're killing it. You're killing the flow. You know, so many people talk about going with the flow. I hear so many people, especially like, 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 you know, new age type of, you know, souls that they're like, man, you know, you got to go with the flow. But I, I see them and I don't think they're going with the flow. You know, they, they, they talk like that, but I don't really think they're going with the flow. They, they, they're, they're, they're perfectionists. They're like, you know, I just, you know, I just want to go with the flow. I'm like, are you really going with the flow? Because it looks, it sounds more like you're trying to sit there and wait till the flow comes and picks you up. You just got to do it, you know? How's it going, Kimberly? You just got to do it. Just just ride that wave. The only way to ride that wave is to do it wrong. Everybody wants to do it right. That's where you're going to kick their ass. I know that. Every time I'm in a place, I'm like, dude, I'm going to do this so wrong until I start doing it right. But by the time that I start doing it right, I got so good at it already. This is this is why this is why Babe Ruth was like the strikeout king. Most people are like, oh Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth was a strikeout king. He just batted. He was doing it wrong. He just he just went for it. Doesn't mean he didn't know what he was doing. It meant he wasn't thinking about it. Because if he sat there, thought about it, paralyzed about it, he, we wouldn't know him as Babe Ruth. The only reason we know him as Babe Ruth, the only reason we know that cat, is because he bat more than everyone else. The only reason we know anyone is because they do more than anyone else. Because they're not thinking about it. They're not sitting there and like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Should I do this? Should I do that? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plan it. I'm going to plan it, dude. By the time you plan it, I already... I already got there and I took I took your opportunity because you're sitting there and planning about it. This is this is not a popular message. I know that. Most people don't know this. Most people think that they have to plan stuff out. You have to wait. You you wait. You wait. Someone else that is actually less less talented with less skill than you is gonna take your kick. You just you keep waiting and, and you're gonna find that someone less talented with less skill but more cojones is gonna take your cake. There's enough cake to go around, but but it's gonna discourage you. It's gonna make you discourage it's it's gonna make you feel like oh man like like I should have taken my, my shot. I should have taken my shot. You know it's gonna make you feel bad. I know because this this is how's it going little good boy come on it's gonna make you feel bad it's gonna make you feel like like um you should have done it you should have taken the shot you know this is why there's so many people that give up they're like oh man you know i had this dream i was gonna do this and then you you, you ask them like what happened you know they're like, well, they start coming up with all kinds of excuses, right? They're like, well, the reality is that... It wasn't my time. Hey, welcome to my studio. Yeah. The reality is that it wasn't my time. There we go. Doing things with one hand and on and on and on i know a lot of you guys want to know like how do i dry my paintings like hey dude you dry your paintings and blah 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 oh man i gotta get my other keys to show you because i i dry my paintings in a in a in a, a, in a one of those sheds storage rooms i gotta get myself another one because um there's not enough space anymore
There's, there's so not enough space that I'm drawing them in the studio. So, because I can't wait. See? Ah, see? There you go. Because I can't wait. Because if I wait, I won't do it. If I'm waiting for stuff to get right, I'm not going to do it. I know this. I know this. I'm trying to. I'm trying to give you guys as much value in one of these little videos. Because I know so many people out there, they think... They think that, that that shit's not happening for them because of some external thing, some, something else, something else. It's, it's not that, guys. It's not something else. It's that you wait too much. You wait too long. And when you wait, when you wait, Turning on some air because I need some. When you wait, fear creeps in. You start getting fear. Fear starts creeping in. It's like jumping in a body of water. You're like, oh, is it is it cold? Is it deep? Is it is there sharks? <laughs> you know. When you wait, fear starts creeping in. You start thinking about all the possible wrong wrong scenarios. But if you don't wait, if you just go for it, what you start creating is momentum. Momentum. I, 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 I wrote an article not long ago about this on, on LinkedIn. Momentum is the most powerful fucking thing any artist can use. Momentum, any, you don't have to be an artist. Momentum is the most powerful thing because momentum is like a flywheel. The only way to create momentum is to do many things, one after another. And you don't, perf you don't become a perfectionist. You're like, oh, okay, I got to do that painting. I'm going to do that painting. And then what, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to go call that gallery. And then what else? Oh, okay, you're just jumping. You're jumping from activity to activity. Anyways, guys, it's time for me to jump. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to eat my burrito, my, bur my breakfast burrito. And then uh, I'm going to go kick some ass. Because today, I'm going to make today, I'm going to make today suffer for me. I'm going to abuse today. This day is for me to abuse. I'm literally going to abuse today. I'm going to kick, I'm going to kick today's ass so bad. That it's going to ask for mercy. It's going to be like, dude, leave me alone. I won't leave you alone. I own you today. Suck the marrow. All the marrow out of life squeeze out every fucking second and watch your life change squeeze out everything don't wait all right take care guys peace